For Module 4, our lesson is all about rocks. So last session, we had our lesson about minerals. And we knew that the word mineralogy is defined as the study of minerals. And the term petrology is a science that deals with the origin, history, occurrence, structure, chemical composition, and classification of rocks. So in minerals, we use mineralogy, and petrology is for rocks. And let us define rocks. So just like minerals, rock is a naturally occurring solid mixture of one or more minerals or organic matter. Rocks are classified by how they are formed, their composition and texture. And last, rocks change over time through the rock cycle. So based from its definition, rock is an aggregate of one or more minerals or a body of undifferentiated mineral matter. And common rocks include granite, basalt, limestone, and sandstone. Next is the types of rocks. So generally, rocks can be divided into three major types based on the process of their formation. These are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. So first is the igneous or the magmatic rock. So it comes from the Latin word ignis, which means fire, and form when hot molten rock crystallizes and solidifies. Is why the parent material of igneous rock is magma. It is a molten material from deep within the earth that cools and hardens. So scientists use the term magma for molten rock that is underground and lava for molten rock that breaks through the earth's surface. So in giving names in igneous rocks, so it is based from texture so when you say texture it is how big the crystals are or it is also the overall appearance of rock sample and next is based from its composition next is the types of igneous rocks so mainly we have two types of igneous rocks and those are intrusive and extrusive so when you say intrusive, it is also called as plutonic. So it cools slowly beneath the Earth's surface and are created by magma. So the intrusive igneous rocks have very large crystals or what we call the coarse-grained rocks. Next is the extrusive rocks and it is also called as volcanic rock. So when magma erupts onto the Earth's surface, or what we call the lava, it cools quickly with very small or no crystals formed. So based from its definition, extrusive rocks forms when magma makes its way to Earth's surface as lava and then cools. So the crystals are very small or the fine-grained rocks since the cooling process is fast next is the classification of rock so let's start with the composition so we have here four different compositions of igneous rocks and the first is felsic so felsic are light colored rocks that are rich in elements such as aluminum potassium silicon and sodium Next one is mafic. So mafic are dark colored rocks that are rich in calcium, iron, and magnesium and poor in silicon. Another is the intermediate. It is between mafic and felsic. And last is for ultramafic that has very dark in color. Next is the texture. So when you say texture, it is the overall appearance of rocks. So we have here the word aphanitic. So when you say aphanitic, 
those are the fine-grained rocks where it cools quickly with little to no crystals and formed through rapid cooling at the surface of the earth. Second one is the phanerytic or the coarse-grained rocks wherein takes longer to cool, so giving mineral crystals more time to grow and it is formed far below the surface of the earth. Third one is the porphyritic, so with large crystals with small crystals. We also have the glassy, so the non-ordered solid from rapid quenching. And last, we have the pyroclastics, those are the composite of ejected fragments. So we have here four different samples of rocks and let us identify the classification of the following rocks. So we have the granite, rhyolite, gabbro, and basalt. So the granite and rhyolite is what we call the felsic rocks or they are um, light in color. And for gabbro and basalt, those are mafic rocks or dark in color. Next, we have the coarse green rocks for granite and gabbro or what we call the phanerytic. And for rhyolite and basalt are fine green rocks or the aphanitic where it cools quickly at surface. So we have here another sample which is obsidian and let us also identify the type and classification of this rock. So obsidian is a dark colored volcanic glass that forms from the ra very rapid cooling of molten rock material. So it cools so rapidly that crystals do not form. And uh, let us identify if this rock is felsic or amafic. Is it fine-grained or coarse-grained? And is this rock intrusive or extrusive? So based from its characteristics and appearance, we can say that obsidian is amafic, fine-grained or called as aphanitic where it cools quickly with little to no crystals and form through rapid cooling at the surface of the earth and it is extrusive rock. So let us proceed to the other type of rock which is sedimentary rocks. So these rocks provide information about surface conditions that existed in the earth's past. So sedimentary rocks are particles of sand, shells, pebbles, and other fragments of materials called sediments. Accumulate in layers and over a long period of time, harden into rocks. So these rocks are formed from lithification. So lithification is a process of cementing soft and consolidated sediments into hard rocks and sedimentary rocks are formed at or near the earth's surface and the layers of rocks is what we call strata and stratification is the process in which sedimentary rocks are arranged in layers next we have the types of sedimentary rocks so mainly there are three types of sedimentary rocks, and those are the plastic, chemical, and organic sedimentary rocks. So let's start with the plastic first. It is formed from the accumulation of clast. So clasts are little pieces of broken rocks and shell, or it simply involves breakdown of rocks into smaller ones at the surface of the crust, accumulate as clasp, piled on top of other and lithified. So we have here sample of plastic, which is brescia. And another examples are conglomerate, sandstone, and shale. 
Next type is the chemical sedimentary rock. So form when dissolved materials precipitate. So this um, type of sedimentary rock form when dissolved minerals precipitate from a solution. So we have here sample which is the limestone. So it is a sedimentary rock composed primarily of calcium carbonate in the form of the mineral calcite and it most commonly forms in clear, warm, shallow marine water. So it is usually an organic sedimentary rock that forms from the accumulation of shell, coral, algal, and fecal debris. And the third one is the organic sedimentary. So those are the remains of plants and animals. So these rocks are formed from the accumulation of animal debris or the remains of plants and animals. So the best example for the organic sedimentary rock is the coal. It is an organic sedimentary rock that forms from the accumulation and preservation of plant materials, usually in a swamp environment. So coal is a combustible rock and along with oil and natural gas, it is one of the three most important fossil fuels. So last type of rock is the metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic comes from the word meta, which means change, and morph, which means form. Or metamorphic means a change in form or a change in shape. Next is, it also changes with temperature and pressure, but remains solid. And last, metamorphic rocks usually takes place deep in the earth. So this type of rocks forms from pre-existing rocks, either metamorphic, igneous, or sedimentary. Examples are quartzite, marble, slate, or the phyllite. Next, we have the types of metamorphism. So we have here the contact and regional metamorphism. So let's start with contact. So from the word itself, contact. So this kind of rock is heated by nearby magma. So increase temperature, change the composition of the rock, minerals are changed into new minerals. So the best example for contact metamorphism is the horn fails. So it is a fine-grained, non-colliated, metamorphic rocks. Next is the regional metamorphism. So the pressure builds up in a rock that is deep within the earth. So large pieces of earth's crust collide and the rock is deformed and chemically changed by heat and pressure. So after identifying the two types of metamorphism, let us proceed to the classification of metamorphic rocks. So first, we have the texture. So it refers to the size, arrangement, and grains within the rock. Another is the foliation. These are any planar arrangement of mineral grains or structural features within the rock. So we have here the foliated and the non-foliated. So in foliated metamorphic rocks, it contains aligned grains of flat minerals while non-foliated metamorphic rocks, the mineral grains are not arranged in planes or bands.